So what's up YouTube? My name is Doug Jenkins. I'm going to get in front of the camera here. Sorry. But I've had a lot of questions. A lot of people. The only beef I get is maybe I said something in one of these videos. Sometimes I make mistakes. I apologize. But what's about the computer that you use? See, these computer manufacturers and these interface manufacturers understand that in order to get to a wider range of people, that they have to market to a wider range of people. Now, when we start talking about computers, I didn't mean in any of my videos that you should overlook the fact that you can use a smaller computer. Every time somebody asks me about what computer they should get, I look at them in a sense where myself, I've taken it upon myself to learn the most out of every computer I use, whether Mac, whether PC. Right now, in the, in the midst of things, it does not matter. Everything I've been able to get done, I've been able to get done on a Windows computer or a Mac computer. Now, one of the things that I wanted to show you was an old school MacBook Pro. And yes, I use Mac. I also have an iPad here. Yes, I have an iPad. And the iPad's function is not going to do what a full-blown Mac 8 core. So what I'm trying to get at is this. This thing's got like two gigs of RAM. Uh, I think it's a dual core. This can run audio software. But as I started to realize was my buddy, he was into making PC computers all the way growing up. And he bought a studio off me. And he said, just let me build one for you. Let me do this. Let me do that. And I said, all right. So through those years, I went to 80K Pro Audio and they built high-end PCs for me. And then I started getting into the custom side of it because, you know, when business is down, I want to sort of be able to learn as much as I possibly can to benefit the next person. So what I did was we put together a uh, AMD uh, 6 core with 8 gigs of RAM and it has over 3 terabytes worth of hard drive space and they're separated hard drives one hard drives for the uh, operating system as well as the software the other oper the other hard drives for the audio another hard drive I have back here is a glyph hard drive that I got from Sweetwater I still shop at Sweetwater as well as Guitar Center and some other places now with, the, with this all being said about the computers the first thing that I want you guys to understand is I did not mean that oh you should just go out and bargain hunt and get this cheap you know uh, e-machine kind of computer e-machines were built for office work they weren't built for media when I was talking about inexpensive I might have misled you I meant you can get or build a custom computer with the right people for you know a dual core uh, quad core for under a thousand dollars now see that's the problem with the business here when you look at what I've invested in you know if you if you just take it on a scale you'll sort of chuckle but if you look at like watch the new Transformers movie and see how much production went into that and I'm trying to offer that kind of in a sense that kind of sound quality um, to, to the people I work with and you know, there are a lot of you on YouTube are like, oh, I only got 50 bucks. I mean, um, that's the problem. Like, I'm in the midst of being able to offer a service as some of the highest end studios in the world would with some of the experience I have in other. But you get into the to the small minded thinking, you'll you'll start rejecting this whole fact that I'm trying to give you insight on doing it yourself. Because not that I don't want to work with you, it's just the fact that I can't afford to work with you in that sense. I mean, more equipment, more electric cost, you know, more cost for the equipment, more time, updates, software, stuff like that. And it becomes pretty expensive. It's an expensive, it's not a hobby to me, it's a profession to me, and uh, I'm 13 years in. So let me get back to what I was talking about and why I was just talking about that. If we're talking about audio recording, yes, the computer has a lot to do with how it buffers audio, how the audio is perceived by the computer, but most importantly, what kind of sound card, in a sense, we're talking about AD and DA converters, as well as clocks, and overall, just the whole bundle in an audio interface. If you go out and buy a uh, Mac 8 core and you hook up an Mbox to it, yeah, you have a you have a great computer that can probably do anything, and it can it can record without one hiccup. Now, 
the the only problem with that is is lies in the mbox the mbox was not meant to be a universal studios uh piece it was meant for the person looking to get his guitar tracks down or she to record her drums or he i don't want to make this like bias but if you're just a musician trying to get your ideas down the mbox is an awesome choice the the converters on it are great for that they will be a step above for a lot of the consumer stuff you've listened to like even watching tv with your you know with your time warner cable box i mean you're going to get a step up so that sound quality is going to be a step up to you now if you go out and you buy a dual core computer and you're trying to run something like i'm running then it's not going to make any sense okay you're going to have all kinds of problems you're going to not want to do anything if you're out trying to record a full-blown band you're going to have to get something that can handle all those ins and outs at the same time especially the ins and the recording without having latency cool thing about some of these new interfaces they're giving you zero latency because they're actually monitoring before they hit the uh, the computer so that's a cool thing now if you want to start doing live stuff yes you're gonna to have to have a bigger computer you're gonna to have to have one of the top of the line Macs or one of the biggest uh, as far as you can afford PCs on the market and I'm gonna say this because it's a business decision and I don't mean to be strict when I say that I'm just telling you the truth you're gonna to want to have something that can that can handle things without you having to worry about what it's doing it just does it when you get into the dual cores and stuff um, on the PC side, even the Sony Bio I have downstairs, I check my email with and I upload my videos, it becomes slow at times, but it can handle stuff like Native Instruments Machine. You start opening up a bunch of VSTs and it's over. It's it, it's not going to work. You use the computer up here in the studio, you have no issues. Um, anything you throw at it, it just keeps on processing everything and it's, it's ready to go. More stable, therefore better. Now, when you talk about Mac, the operating system, and the way that they build everything as one component, their computers are, in, in fact, very, very stable due to the fact that they have worked continuously, continuously excuse me, with this software and these, these audio developers, especially with, with some of the higher-end stuff. Now, with that all being said, that's why Mac has been sort of the go-to computer. But on a budget, if you're going to try to get in the big ballpark, you're going to have to go PC route or you're going to have to finance the Mac or you're going to have to come out of pocket for a Mac. I don't want to stray anybody left or right on the Mac PC issue. I'm just trying to tell you and get on the YouTube and please just listen to me. Your audio interface, your ADDA converter that was inside the interface as well as your digital clock, is going to be pretty much your uh, your central hub for all the sound coming into your computer. So if you can buy that and get that at the highest of quality, I'm, I'm talking some of these systems are more important as far as sound quality, um, but it's sort of the whole machine. You want the high-end computer and then the high-end converters. And that's what I was trying to say. If you are on a budget like my how to you know start a home recording studio, that is I was trying to do that as a budget friendly listen to the video watch the video and now I'm trying to tell you if you want to get above and beyond spend your money on the converters and the computer and and then you can you can build from there I think that's the great greatest starting point high-end converters high-end computer most of these converters out here like Lynx is Aurora for bands I would highly recommend that um, they use a or you can insert an LT Firewire card so you can actually use the ADDA as an interface it becomes your interface um, other things like Pro Tools HD here's another thing they got digital sampling processor cards that actually function with the software so the HD line of things you don't need the powerhouse as much also HD Omni with the HD interfaces those are going to get you high-end quality and you're going to be able to right out of the box if you have the right engineers, you're going to be able to start producing products that, that can hit the shelf. And that's what record companies want. And it's an investment. It's a business investment. Now, if you don't think that, hey, this stuff's like way out of my, you know, I don't know what this guy's talking about. I just got an inbox and I'm happy with it. That's awesome. Stay like that. I don't care about that. The fact is, is if you want to go to the next level, you want to be on the same level as some of the artists that you've heard day in and day out on the radio, you're going to have to either send it to a person like myself or send it out to a, um, a company or go re-record it at a high-end studio because 
the fact is, is you're trying to build a product. And although Mbox and all these guys and Avid, I, I love their products. I love Pro Tools. But at the end of the day, they're selling a product to a solution. They cannot they cannot sell you an Mbox with the highest end converters in it and charge you what they charge you. They can't do that. I mean, they would be broke. They'd go out of business. High end converters take a lot more money. Uh, it's a lot more manufacturing, sturdier stuff, stability, analog stages, all that good stuff that goes into these high-end converters. It costs money. So I want you guys to know, yes, I'm not trying to be cheap. cheapo.com. I was trying to give you a solution. Somebody posted something about me being uh, something about cheap on a computer or something. It doesn't matter the computer. I didn't mean it doesn't matter. It's one of the most crucial steps in a digital audio workstation because without the computer, you don't have digital and you don't have a workstation. So I mean well when I say that, but just do your homework. Do your homework.